I get that. Because we give away so much. And a lot of the times it hurts us as performers, as, as pro wrestlers. Like, we're giving away too much, you know? So it's almost like I want everybody to believe all the bullshit and the lies about me because it's just gonna, it helps me make more money. It helps me draw more money. Um, I just want all those people, like if you're gonna believe all that wild, crazy bullshit, like believe it and then just leave me the fuck alone. But that's the thing is like, they can never just leave me alone. You know, everybody's always talking and chirping. Um, it's, it's different in a sense that, I'm not gonna say friendlier. Um, no, fuck it, I am, I am, I am gonna say friendlier. You know, I mean, but you have to realize, like to, to talk about the way the culture is now, you have to talk about the way the culture was when I got there. Mm. And I showed up and, and it was very much shark tank, cutthroat, super competitive. And everybody looked at me like, fuck you, why are you here? You don't belong here. And I was on television with nothing but top guys. I mean, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, Ric Flair, Kurt Angle, Kane. There's, there's probably like five other guys I'm 100% forgetting, but you know, like it was, it was brutal, you know, and to try to scratch and claw to get recognized and noticed and to get that little bit of TV time that I was allotted, like it was, a, it was a lot different. Now I think it's more laid back, you know, I, I think that's probably the best way to say it. It's, it's